What's up guys, so today in Why We're Single, we're talking about cities in video games that we want, wouldn't want to live in. Is Detroit one of those cities? No, no, no. We're talking about fake cities that don't exist that if we can go to, we would just avoid like the plague. For me, I would not live in any city in, in the Kanto region of Pokemon, though. It's the first region, right? That's the one I'm most familiar with, you know, like... Like, uh, Pallet Town was the, was the first time where, where Red grew up. Like, that's not a town. That is two houses and Professor Oak's laboratory. And then you have to, like, walk through, like, these wilderness where these rats and birds are attacking us. You just didn't get to the closest city, which really doesn't even have anything. Think about it. Each city you go to is so small. The biggest city there is Vermilion, I think, right? That's one of the, the psychic gym and, like, with the mob bosses or, or whatever. Yeah, that had, like, the most buildings, but none of them were houses. Like, where does everybody live? I think everyone just, like, camps out in, like, the wilderness waiting for someone to walk by so they can be like, Boop, I'm gonna challenge you with my Pokemon. We'll challenge for food because I'm homeless. Seriously, nobody has a home there and it's sad, so would not live there. Video game places I wouldn't want to live. Uh, I think <laughs> the most obvious, the first one, no one wants to live in Raccoon City. That place just will not stop getting attacked by zombies. It's like, I feel like there's someone out there handing out like tourist guides to zombies. They're like, hey, you should visit Raccoon City. And zombies are like, oh, it looks nice. And they go there and they try to fucking kill you and eat your brains zombie dogs running around in the woods. The very first time I ever played that and the zombie dogs are in the woods, I'm like, this place f***ing blows. Let's get anywhere but this place because there's zombie dogs attacking you. And then you get in the house and you're like, yes, finally, I'm out of the woods in that crappy place. And it's like, f*** this house is filled with zombies. Why did I ever join RCPD, Raccoon City Police Department? Should have joined any other police department. But yeah, I wouldn't want to live in Raccoon City. Uh, I'm gonna kick it off, I'm gonna say Liberty City. Really any city from GTA for that matter. There's crime all over the place, it's just infested with crime, and for whatever reason, there's at least one asshole running around just running people over, shooting people for no reason, just murdering everyone, and the cops can never catch him. And all he's gotta do is outrun them for like 10 seconds and the cops are just kinda like, well, we're never gonna catch this guy, we give up. And then they call off the search completely. No matter how much he's done, all he's gotta do is run for long enough and they're like, case closed. Never solved it. Unsolved mysteries. This f***ing guy, we obviously know what he looks like, but for some reason, we'll just, we just gave up. Cause he's just gonna go around and keep murdering people. And what if you're one of those people? That's not a good life. This is, I mean, it's over way too soon, obviously. How about, uh, how about Arkham City? No one wants to live in Arkham City, right? I mean, I think if you're living in Arkham City, it A, means you were a criminal and did something horrible, or, uh, you, or you're f***ing a journalist that shouldn't be there to begin with, or you're f***ing Batman. I guess it'd be cool if you were, well, no, not even for Batman, because everyone's trying to kill you there, because it's Arkham City. Yeah, it looked like a shitty place to live, and if you listen to the goons complaining, they're always complaining, they're like, oh, you'd think they could send us in some food or something. It sounded like it was hard to get food there, it was always cold, f***ing penguin was running around. I think you have to work for the penguin, he was a dick, he makes you like, light his cigar and stuff. I don't think about myself as a collector. And then you light a cigar and he just throws it on the ground. It's like, hey, I just lit that bitch. I'm trying to be a fucking henchman here and you're acting like a dick. And then there's the Joker who just considers all his henchmen fucking expendable. Yeah, dude, you, you, you don't want to live in Arkham City. Terrible place. Then uh, off the top of my head, I'm gonna say Metropolis. I don't know that that's been in many games, Superman's city of Metropolis, but it would be a terrible place to live. I mean, obviously you got Superman defending the city, which sounds all fine and dandy, but then there's all these aliens and weird people trying to come and, and destroy the city. And even when he gets into fights and he's defending the city, a bunch of stuff gets destroyed. That's property damage. You get the, the insurance rates are going to be ridiculously high because of the risk of aliens and other people coming to Earth and destroying your house. And that's like a very high likelihood your house will get destroyed at some point. Maybe Superman can do stuff, he's like heat vision and then like your house is fixed, but still. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. You're constantly gonna have to be buying new things. Insurance might cover some stuff, but then there's probably a big deductible. These are the things you gotta think about when you're an adult and choosing where to live. The one I'm gonna say you should not live in is probably one that everyone wants to go to. Mushroom Kingdom? I don't think so. You're probably thinking, oh, it would be a happy place, it'd be fun and exciting, see Mario and Princess Peach. Bullsh**, guess what? It's like the biggest sausage fest in the world. There's one female everywhere. Yeah, there's, there's, there's Pauline and Daisy, but come on, nobody gives a shit about them. Bowser doesn't even try to kidnap them anymore. One would think, hey, if I can't get Peach, I'll get one of the other three women that live there. Nope. So no one really cares about that. Like, you're, okay, Toadette? Might, someone might be able to give an argument for that, but there's like a thousand toads 
and one toadette. So that's gonna be like the most awkward, it's gotta be like this queen bee thing where just like, she just keeps popping out toads. So I wouldn't wanna get anywhere near here. Just like, I will go somewhere where there's plenty of beautiful women to go to. Just not, not Mushroom Kingdom, there's, there's nothing. Just Bowser constantly kidnapping the one female in town. And you know that's gonna be used up, so ain't going there.